Digital Minimalism, a crucial strategy for the solopreneur. Working as a solopreneur, it becomes extremely important to consider factors that can impact your productivity. That means things like your immediate environment and how you are optimizing your health and focus. What you need to do as well, though, is think about the psychological aspect of your work and the way you're mentally separating that from your daily life. This is where so many people who work from home go wrong. We start out with the best of intentions, set working hours, a separate work phone, but the temptation to work late one night or to work on a Sunday will always rear its head once we start getting behind. Problem is, this is habit forming and it creates a bad pattern. This is especially true if you work late on a weekday, as you'll then have less energy to work again on the next weekday, and that in turn will mean you're tired and lethargic and unproductive, meaning there's a good chance you'll be tempted to work late again. As we'll see later, sleep should be considered sacred if you work from home, and for everyone for that matter. What you need to do then is to set yourself strict specific parameters for working and to not work outside of those. This means that you have to start working at a very specific time and end at a very specific time. And if you run over and work looks like it's going to be late, then you have to just accept that it's late. It's not worth ruining your life to keep a client happy. Remember, the whole reason we're working this way in the first place is to live the lifestyle we want. But it's what you do outside of that time that is really going to make a big difference to your mental health, your productivity, and your ability to focus. And that's because working online comes with a very particular challenge. Unplugging. The problem is that even if you are mentally disciplined enough to stop working at a given time, you're still going to face the challenge of getting the privacy you need. Because when you work online, your clients, your customers, and your creative pursuits can always reach you. In other words, as long as you have a phone in your pocket, you are at risk of receiving an email about your work that will cause you stress and arousal and prevent you from properly relaxing. And here's the other thing. Even if the message isn't from your client, simply thinking that it might be will be enough in many cases to make you stressed and prevent you from fully relaxing. Even simply looking at your phone can cause a slight increase in arousal, seeing as the blue light from your phone triggers the release of stress hormone cortisol. If you've just spent the last eight hours staring at a screen, this is a problem. When is your break? Digital minimalism is a movement toward unplugging and switching off. The aim is to remove any unnecessary technological distractions and to scale back your interaction with technology as far as possible. This is a perfect complement to the solopreneur lifestyle for all the reasons that we've just discussed. How do you get started? Here are just a few things you can do right now to scale back your reliance on technology. Have a separate phone for work. Change your home phone's display to monochrome. This has been shown to reduce addictive phone checking behavior. Turn off notifications. Create strict hours during which you look at no screens, especially your phone. This should definitely include 30 to 90 minutes before you go to sleep. Sleep with your phone and other tech in a different room. Take up non-tech hobbies. Take vacations away from all technology. You can find plenty more advice online. Oh, the irony. Take a look and see if digital minimalism is right for you. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.